If you want to learn how to use Canva's new AI writing tool to help you generate captions, product descriptions, ebook content, and more for your creative business, then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Cherie here with Pretty Party and Crafty, and we're jumping right into how you can use Canva's AI writing tool for your creative business. So if you need help with product descriptions, social media, email marketing, so many other things, this is the tool for you. It's available on all their plans. So if you have just the free plan, you do have access to this tool. I'm gonna show you how to use it on the desktop version, but you also have access to this tool using the mobile version. So let's go ahead and get started. Started. So what we're going to do now is create a design. So if you go to the top right corner, you want to click create a design and you're going to select doc, D-O-C. If you don't see it under suggested, you're just going to go here where it says search, but we're just going to click it. Okay, once you click it, a new tab is going to open up and we're ready to get started. So first we have to find where is this magic right tool on a desktop when you have your doc open, you're gonna click this plus sign and magic right is right there. If you are on a mobile device, you will not see the plus sign. Instead, you'll see this magnifying icon with two sparkles. So on a mobile device, you're gonna click that and then you'll see these options. Once you have the options open, you're gonna select magic right. And this is where you're gonna put in your prompt. So the first thing we wanna do is try to use this to create a product description. So as detailed as you are in the prompt, you're gonna get more details in what it creates and what it generates for you. But I'm just gonna put in a pretty basic prompt. So I'm gonna say I want a product description for a baby shower invitation. All right, and it generated us a little description. It says, celebrate the upcoming arrival of the little one with this exquisite baby shower invitation. Featuring a modern and elegant design, this invitation will be sure to wow your guests. The soft pastel colors create a perfect backdrop for the beautiful floral design that is sure to set the tone for a perfect event. Okay, so with plenty of room to include. Okay, so you can read all of that. Looking at what it generated for us, what it provided looks really great. But if that isn't the description of your invitation, of course, you want to go in and make changes so it fits your design. So if I were more descriptive in my prompt, it would have spit out those characteristics. You do wanna go in and make changes and edits. This is more so a jumping off point to help you out. Um, let's do one more product description. So I'm just gonna delete all of this. Again, to get to the magic right tool, all you have to do is click the plus sign. If you're on mobile, you're clicking the magnifying gla glass with the two sparkles, and then you're gonna select magic right. That's how you get to it. All right, we're gonna do another product description. We're gonna do a product description for a, let's say it's a 30 ounce Valentine's Day. Um, let's say it's a tumbler. And let's see if me providing that will give us a little bit more detail. Okay, this Valentine's Day, show your special someone that you care with this beautiful 30 ounce tumbler. This unique tumbler is made of stainless steel with a sleek and modern design. It's double wall insulation ensures that it keeps drinks hot or cold for hours. It's giving you a lot of details in that. Again, if that doesn't match yours, you wanna make sure you go in and change that. All right, so again, as you can see, when I put in more details, so I said the size, it's 30 ounces. I said the holiday is for Valentine's Day. And then I said it was a tumbler. So it's pulling information from the internet. The more descriptive you are, the better your description that Magic Right will generate. Next, we just looked at how you can use it for product descriptions. Now we're gonna look at how you can use this for social media. Let's see if it can generate us some hashtags. So remember, click the plus sign or the magnifying glass with sparkles, select magic right. Hashtags for raptors. 
crafters of Instagram, Crafty Mom, DIY Crafts, Crafts Exposure. That's a new one for me. I haven't heard that. Handmade with Love, Woodworking, Maker's Gonna Make. I use that one a lot. Crafts for All, Crafting Time. This looks really good. You want to make sure that you pull out the ones that work for you. So I put hashtag for crafters. I could have put for party crafters. I could have put for paper crafters to get more specific. But pull out the ones that work for you. Okay, so let's do this again. See if we can see what other types of hashtags they generate. So hashtags for, let's say this is for a party planner. Party planning pro, party coordinating, event planning expert, um, celebration coordinator, event stylist, party inspiration. That's a really good one. Party specialist, party styling pro. So it's giving you hashtags that you can use. And let's try one more. And let's give it a number. Let's say I want to have 10 hashtags. So 10 hashtags for party favors. It's giving us hashtags for party favors. I would definitely not put party giveaways if you're not giving something away. But it's generating us hashtags. And that's exactly um, what we would be looking for. So it works for hashtag generation. Now let's see how it does with creating social media captions for Instagram. So let's say I have a Valentine's Day Tumblr and I'm stuck at what to write about it. I want it to be funny, so I want to put funny Instagram. Okay, this Tumblr has my name written all over it, literally. Okay, so something like that would be cute because we did say that it was personalized. But let's see if we can get some more. Well, let's see if we can put in that same prompt and see if we're going to get something different. Hit enter. So hopefully we do get something different and we did. So it says spooktacular. Enjoying my personalized Halloween Tumblr is the only way to sip. Okay, so that's good to know that if you put in the exact same prompt, you are given different content, different captions. So nothing appears to be the exact same. Let's see if we can do another one without funny on there and see what it's going to give us. All right, spooky season just got a whole lot sweeter with this personalized Halloween Tumblr. And this one gave us hashtags as well. So that's really good. Hashtag Halloween, spooky season, customized, and Tumblr. Um, let's do one more caption. Okay, um, let's put a Facebook caption for, let's say you're having a sale. Uh, for one, two, two, three, uh, sale. So that's really good. It's giving us captions for pretty much any platform. It's including hashtags. And so far, I am liking the magic right. And now I wanted to create an about me page. And then you're going to say what you are. About me page for, I'm a former Okay, so this is actually giving you the things that you need. It lets you know, well, it gives you the information that I input it, which is important. So it lets you know my previous job, now my current job. It lets you know what I specialize in. So if I don't specialize in that, just make sure you change it to fit what works for you. It lets you know how long I've been doing it. It lets you know I have a passion for it. So it's definitely a starting point. It's definitely something I would use if I have writer's blog. So this About Me page is really, really good. Let's do another one. So let's do Instagram bio for balloon artist. So again, same thing. It lets you know your name, what you specialize in. It does a call to action as well. All right. So I think we've looked at everything except for ebook assistance.
If you are a creative entrepreneur, you're a crafter, at some point you've heard that you probably should create a digital product. Well, Magic Write can assist you. Now, don't let Magic Write do all the work. And please don't tell your kids about Magic Write because Magic Write will write their essay if you ask them to. So let's see. So let's say I'm creating an ebook all about Etsy. So you need to talk about the pros and cons of Etsy. So I'll write list of five pros and cons of Etsy. And let's see what it's gonna generate. Okay, so it sectioned it off and it gives us five of each. Because remember, it's pulling information from the internet. It allows you to reach a wider audience. Yes, that's one of the pros. Um, it provides a secure platform. Yes, um, Etsy fees are relatively low compared to other. Now, that number three, again, remember when I said that you want to make sure that you look over it because even though it's new and it's really good, it's not perfect. It's new and it's improving, but it's not perfect because I wouldn't technically, I wouldn't say the fees are low. I wouldn't say that, but that's one of the pros that they list. Okay, let's look at the cons. Um, because if you notice, number three said that the fees are relatively low. But one of the cons says Etsy takes a large cut of the profits. But you see how, you know, they contradict themselves. So that's one of the reasons why I say it's a starting point. It's to help you kind of focus. So this gives you a list of pros and cons. And so once you have like this list or this outline, then if you're doing the ebook, you would then go in depth on each one. You could give personal anecdotes. You can give examples. You can give ways to overcome that, especially with the cons. So hopefully this video was informative. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've tried this, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I really want to know what you think. If there's another platform that you use for AI content um, generation, feel free to share that in the comments as well. Be sure to like and follow for more. Later, y'all.